Hey guys, it's Ryan. Let's keep talking about oral pathology and now we're going to move to salivary gland diseases that are benign. So we talked about reactive lesions, we talked about um, mucus seals and ranulas and all that fun stuff, and now we're going to talk about benign tumors. So most salivary gland tumors, at least all the ones we will be talking about, look pretty much the same. So instead of being classified by clinical appearance, they've been classified by microscopic appearance. So first we have pleomorphic adenoma, which if I jump down to the second bullet point is the most common benign salivary gland tumor. So that's really important. It's composed of a mixture of cell types, both epithelial and connective tissue, hence why it is also called a mixed tumor. So mixed tumor, mixture of cell types. It's a firm rubbery swelling, which can be anywhere from small to huge. In this case, sort of middle of the road, leaning towards a pretty huge swelling. Most common site is the palate for minor salivary gland or the ear for the parotid gland. So firm rubbery swelling is pretty relevant. I've, I've definitely seen a couple practice questions that um, focus on that fact for differentiating it from another type of swelling. And um, most common site is the palate for minor salivary glands is true for most of these salivary gland tumors that we're going to talk about. Next we have monomorphic adenoma, which is composed of a single cell type. So now we can kind of link this together. The pleomorphic means more forms or shapes, and it's involving a mixture of cell types, whereas monomorphic means one shape or one form, and it involves one cell type. So if you remember pleomorphic and monomorphic, that can help to make these two things pretty easy uh, to remember. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Monomorphic adenomas include basal cell adenomas, canalicular adenomas, myoepitheliomas, and oncocytic tumors. So they sort of, this category envelops a, a whole bunch of adenomas, um, but they're all involving a single cell type. Treatment for this one would be surgical excision. And it has a pretty similar appearance to the pleomorphic adenoma. And lastly, we have Worthen's tumor, which is composed of oncocytes and lymphoid cells. So the other one, I had mixture and single cell type. But this one, we just have a specific um, two cell types that are involved, oncocytes which are epithelial cells with excessive number of mitochondria and lymphoid cells. So Worthen's tumor is usually found in the parotid of older men. So Worthen is the name of this guy who has this parotid swelling, which is going to be near the ear where the parotid gland is, and it involves these oncocytes and lymphoid cells. So just for some um, for some context, it's not really too important to know how they look like for an exam, a board exam standpoint, but just to see an oncocyte is on the left side of this image, all of these larger pink staining or eosinophilic cells are the oncocytes in this slide. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more oral pathology and other things dentistry. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next video.